I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. Random pulls are a what would you do scenario. I pull random tiles, I look for the strength of the hand, and I try to identify Yaku. That's where this comes in. Player reference with a Yaku table. It's a great way to memorize the scoring elements. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do six random pulls. We'll mark them with these tenbo. We'll do east round, south round, east round, south. Whoops. We'll alternate. I'm going to roll these dice to randomize which seat we're in. The first one will be in west seat. West seat, east round, first random pull. Four crack will be Dora. Since we're non-dealer, I will get 13 tiles. We have four cracks, three bams, four dots, single honors, not a pair in sight. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discard? If this were my starting hand, I think I would focus on Pinfu and Ricci, stay concealed, leverage number tiles. I would discard these first. If we drew in simples two through eight, maybe even discard the nine, because we could maybe play Tanyao, which is two through eight. Tanyao, Ricci, and Pinfu. Pinfu is all cheese, all three in a sequence. We have a three, four, five, a six, eight, five, six, or six, eight, one, two, three, really only three blocks. We need help. Maybe keep the nine. But there is some potential for Tanyao, all simples two through eight. I think I would focus on Pinfu and Ricci. And we have Dora. We do have four, five, five, six, and a six. If we get fours, four bam, four dot, three bam, three dot. We could maybe do three, four, five mixed triple chi. That's called Sanshoku. There's a lot of potential here with cheese. So Pinfu, Ricci, maybe Sanshoku, maybe Tanyao, all simples. South round, pull two. I rolled a five. We'll be east for this one. Two cracks, five dots, three bams, single honors, wins dragons. We have two pair, sevens and nines. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play Chanta outside hand. Either that 
or pair up and pwn. We only have two pair, so that's kind of a long shot. But Chanta, we could maybe leverage all these honors. We'd have to pair up and pwn. Here we could do a chi. We could do a chi with Dora. There's one, two, three potential here. Very light though, so we would need to draw. These two would be discards. So I think I would discard these first. See about playing Chanta or pair up and pwn. South round, we're in east seat. We have east and dragons. So these are valued honors. If we could pair up and pwn those, we could get Yakuhai Han. Chanta would allow us to use Dora. If you would do something different here, let me know. I think that's what I would do though, Chanta. East round, third pull. We'll be player one. One bam will be Dora. Four cracks, three bams, three dots, Dora, and a pair, single honors. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would go pick by pick. We have a lot of isolated tiles. Isolated, 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 isolated. We have a pair and a potential chi, single honors. We do have Dora. Maybe outside hand again. Discard the fives. Chanta would allow us to use Dora. We only have one valued honor. I think I would try to play Chanta again. Outside hand. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine honors. We would need seven eight nine twice over pair up all these single honors south round this time we'll be east again the progression for dragons is red white green so red dragon will be dora Four dots, four bams, two cracks, single honors. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would you discard? If these were my tiles, 
I think. I would play Pinfu and Ricci. Maybe focus on little numbers. We do have all the twos. I think I would discard those single honors. Single honors are painful when you have simples. Four discards to get to number tiles. But number tiles are very flexible. I think that's what I would do. We have a potential chi here. There's a pair. Here's a potential chi and a potential chi. There's actually a chi right there, one, two, three. But if we split it out, we have one, two, three, four blocks. And then we would need a pair in here. Pinfu, Ricci. I think that's what I would try to do. It just seems painful to discard these beautiful honors. We're in East Seat. These would all be valued honors, but as singles, you can't do anything with those when you have tiles two through eight. East round, fifth pull. I rolled a seven. That means we're going to be west. Four Bama's Dora. Three dots, three cracks, four bams, a wind, and a pair of dragons. We got a pair of dragons. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would you discard? If these were my tiles, I think I would play Yakuhai alone. Pwn here as quickly as possible. Then she like the wind or pair up and pwn here. We have potential chi, potential chi, potential chi, pair, pair. We can act on all those blocks. We could even chi here if we want to. Side weight, side weight, side weight, edge weight. Maybe discard. It's east round. Maybe discard the six dot first. Pwn here, then chi. It would be a low scoring hand, but only the winner gets paid. South round, last pull. I rolled a six, that will be player two. Seven dot is Dora. Two bams, two dots, seven cracks, single honors. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discard? If these were my tiles, I would play half flesh. Discard these. Potential chi, potential chi. There's a chi. Valued honors. It's south round. We've got a south. We could maybe pwn and chi, but there's only four of every tile. Maybe chi would be better. Chi, chi. Maybe even chi and be left with needing a pair one way or another. 
because we need to draw in more cracks or pair up and pone. I would throw these first. If you're new to Ricci and you have a set of tiles at home, I challenge you to do random pulls. It really is a great way to memorize Yaku and train yourself to identify the strength in a dealt hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls, for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi, may all your picks be keepers.